Welcome to HP Tuner's Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 43. In this training module, we're going to be exploring the basics of our automatic transmission tuning. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how we can tune our 6R80 transmissions in this tutorial. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the basics and the fundamentals of what we need to know to understand our 6R80 transmission. Then we're going to move in future training modules, taking a look at our scheduling, the actual shift scheduling, up and down shifts for the transmission control programming, uh, looking at things like our shift pressures, how quickly we can make the shift happen, the converter unlocking and locking schedule, and also torque management, which is going to be controlling things on the actual shift. So make sure, make sure we don't damage anything within the transmission, softening up the actual transmission shift itself so we have less stress on the actual components of our drivetrain and transmission. So we're going to get into all of that, but this is going to be our basics, essentially the introduction into our 6R80 transmission. That's what we're going to find here in our Mustang applications and our F-150 applications. So let's jump in here and let's take a look at a automatic transmission equipped file and then we're going to dig into where we find the actual tables just go through a general overview of the different sections we're going to talk about the actual transmission itself talking about mechanically what's going on so we understand what's what's being controlled and then we'll jump into some data logs and tie everything together and then just get a better feel for how this is all operating in terms of um, when the shift is command and what actually happens. Now we're going to get into more of that as we go through future training modules, but for right now, this is just the basic overview to get familiar, get more comfortable with understanding what is going on in our auto trans control. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go up to file open and open up a sample calibration file from an automatic equipped vehicle. So I'm going to go up here and we see our HP Tuners Gen 2 course folder, Mustang example files. Now I'm in a 2017 Mustang folder here. That's our sample files that we have available. I'm going to grab my 2017 Mustang GT automatic file. So we're going to go ahead and open that up real quick here and allow this to fully open. Now once the file's open, I'm going to move up here into the trans section and the trans section is going to allow me to look at the different aspects in programming our transmission control module. So we have a general section, shift scheduling, we have our shift pressure, shift properties, torque converter, and torque management. Now, when we're talking about how all these interface together to control the transmission, shift scheduling is going to be when we actually command the shift to happen, either upshift or downshift, at different throttle plate movements, actual throttle blade movements or pedal movements as we're driving around. So we know if we're giving it more throttle, it can downshift a little bit easier. If we're maybe part throttle, lighter throttle conditions, it may not downshift as easy or upshift. So it's going to be downshifting and upshifting basing on our pedal position and uh, where we're actually driving in the various gears. So there's going to be all kinds of things with that. We're going to look at our shift scheduling, have a dedicated tutorial on that coming up here. Shift pressures and shift properties. These are going to be related to controlling the firmness of our shift and then the timing of our shift. Now, in our shift properties, we have a torque phase and we have an inertia phase. We'll explain what that means as I go through the training module for shift pressures and shift properties. I'm actually going to keep those together in their own training tutorial because they do go hand in hand. Typically, if we want to go and speed up the shift, we also need to increase some of our pressures and increase the firmness. So we'll get into what these mean. The torque converter controls the locking and unlocking schedule of the actual torque converter control. We can go in here and learn all about that in a separate training module. And we're also going to have torque management, and that is going to be controlling how much torque output the engine's going to actually output on a gear shift. This is going to make sure that we don't damage the transmission and we also have proper torque management or power reduction on a gear shift. This improves the, the clutch wear, this improves any kind of wear on the transmission and into the drivetrain in general. So we definitely want to keep torque management on unless you have a built transmission, maybe a drag application where you don't care about having it in place and you want the transmission to shift as hard and fast as possible can go in here and start to change some things, but for most applications, I keep it on. So let's jump back in here to general. We're gonna come go through this entire window here in just a little bit, but let's first start to talk about our 6R80 transmission. What do we have going on, and what are we trying to control getting the shifts to happen? Well, we're gonna find here that we have three rotating multi-plate clutches. We have a forward clutch, which is the A clutch. We have a direct clutch, which is the B clutch. We have an overdrive, which is known as the E. We also have two fixed multi-disc brakes that's known as the intermediate or the C and then we have a lower verse which is known as our D. And we're going to be using a combination of those in order to achieve 
the shifts that we're trying to go out. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.